Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases and today we are here with the Peterbilt 579 in Alamosa and we are going to be taking this wheel loader on this nice low boy trailer all the way up to Colorado Springs or I say all the way up, it's about 200 miles and this is going to be going towards the Cruising Colorado event because I need to do some more unlocking <laughs> and uh, there's going to be quite a few exciting things to talk about uh, today because there's been a few things said uh, within the last week so I'm going to go over that and without further ado let's get going. So hopefully everyone is doing well enjoying their Saturday or whatever day this video may find you. Um, hopefully you are doing well. I don't need the headlights on, just the side lights. I think I got the side lights on. Yeah, I do. Let's get all those beacons on. And uh, you may notice I've got a spaceship themed <laughs> uh, paint scheme on this Peterbilt. Uh, so this is, of course, the stock Peterbilt for in ATS. And this is actually a stock skin as well, but I've never run it. And I have to say, it looks pretty sharp, actually. I don't mind at all. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a nice journey, a uh, decent amount of highway driving, but the whole point is just to uh, explore some more Col or more of Colorado, and we are taking this into the mine, or one of the big mine there, uh, just outside of Colorado Springs, so that's going to be a really nice uh, scenic view when we get there. Uh, but without further ado, let's start talking about the biggest news released this week uh, for ATS, which is that Wyoming, well, okay. I have to say, I'm going to just do a disclaimer. It is not confirmed as I am recording this right now. Um, knowing my luck, it will probably be confirmed within the next few days uh, or next day or so. Um, but it's going to be pr uh, Wyoming is coming. I'm going to say it right now is because that teaser video is <laughs> it's it, bisons are the uh, state animal or the logo actually for the uh, the flag of Wyoming and so uh, that's a pretty big pretty big giveaway there and I am very very confident that that is what uh, what's coming for ATS which is very very exciting and I'll just go on the map here that will show or that means that this this is Wyoming right here so that means they're opening up into here as well which is very very exciting of course so I can't wait for that of course there isn't much news on it really other than just the speculation that it's going to be Wyoming um, and I did a little video on it uh, with showing the teaser video if you want to check it out it's in the card above but other than that it really isn't that much um, but overall it is just very very exciting to be able to uh, get so much new content coming. Of course, we've got the Cascadia coming at some point, the Freightliner. Um, no idea when it's coming yet, um, but they said it's hopefully coming soon. Um, of course, now they've just released that Wyoming, or they've teased that Wyoming will be coming, and we've just gotten the Western Star 49X, and we just got Colorado and they're still releasing stuff which is so so fun because that means that there's constant or they're doing they've really increased their development of ATS um, they've done it significantly as well because a while ago there'd be times where we were going months and months without even hearing about what's coming next and now there's a couple weeks since a, DS, uh, a new map drops and they're already teasing the next one um, and uh, and by we knew Idaho was coming and what and Colorado was confirmed as well so that means we're probably gonna we know Wyoming now so probably once they start releasing more information on Wyoming then I'm gonna presume they'll release what the next state after Wyoming will be or they'll tease it so then we'll have um, or at least or even confirm it if they're really on their game and then we've got two new states that are coming <laughs> that we know plus whatever else they're doing uh, so that's really exciting because um, so, I know at one point there was a time where it would be like 40 years until they actually finished the states at the rate they were going at this but now with the amount of states they're bringing in every year to the game um, and it seems like they're still increasing but but yet uh, the rate but the quality is still going up uh, it's that's dropping significantly <laughs> and uh, you can just tell by 
whenever you look on the map how much is actually done and how much is coming and I'm going to presume they're going to start doing some bundle states as well um, because that's what they do in Europe or at least in their Euro Truck Simulator they will do certain DLCs that are of a general area and will have multiple countries in that situation within it so I'm hoping once we get uh, a little bit farther east where you get some smaller states they'll start uh, doing some bundles and stuff like that which would be kind of handy because uh, that way you get multiple states at the same time and it knocks it knocks multiple right out um, and because when you think of the land mass of for example Texas whenever it decides to come versus I don't know like like I don't think I can even scroll over far enough but like you look at the size of Texas versus what these two or these three are here um, I can't can't recall off the top of my head what they are. Um, that's it's pretty. I mean, it's it's those three are less than what Texas is by the looks of it. And so when it comes to trying to re release those, I don't know. Maybe they'll do them individually. Maybe they won't. Um, you never know. It's just something we'll find out. So uh, yeah, kind of kind of interesting there. Uh, other than that, really not too much yet. Um, of course, with my luck, something will probably be said because I'm just recording this a day prior to release. So, uh, yeah, normally that happens. And I, oh man, really hard on the brakes. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but I do have to remember that, uh, yeah, oh, we got a cop following us. Better drive half decent. That was a nice cinematic shot. Sweet. Um, oh, this isn't going to be fun. I don't need to indicate, but uh, I'll continue talking in a second. I gotta focus a little bit here first. Okay, I gotta get it around the corner without dragging it on the inside, which I think I just did, which is good. Merge out in the traffic, and let's get on the highway, on the road again. Our life is a highway. I guess that's more of the that's the proper song to do, but I won't. I won't sing anything because I don't want to get copyright claimed because if it's anything like smoke on the water, you can't even, I mean, I may not be careful, careful even saying smoke on the water for that matter, for those who know. Some songs are very, very stingent on YouTube and uh, they cannot be even said. So, uh, or your, your video will get copyrights claimed or striked or whatever. Um, it, now, luckily for me, it's really... I'm not monetized, so at least yet, and uh, it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't affect me financially, but it's just an absolute pain um, to deal with when it comes to just if it's a strike. Now I haven't had any strikes yet or anything like that. I have had one claim, which means I just couldn't monetize the video. Big whoop! I can't monetize any of my videos now anyway, so it didn't make a difference. Um, but I cleared it up just so it's off the record of the channel. Um, very nice YouTube people, by the way, too. Um, I got a very nice help assistant there. I want to give it that because I just kind of wanted to see uh, what get their opinion, if I should deal with it or if I should just leave it. They told me just probably deal with it anyways, even though I'm not monetized yet. It's just whenever it goes for the application process, it's one less thing for it to look out for, and it, in, it, in the long run, it may actually help my uh, if I do, if and when I do get monetized um, it would help my CPMs which would be kind of handy um, but other than that um, just living life you know hope everyone like I said earlier and I hope everyone is doing well and surviving this strange situation everyone is in I know different countries are in different states um, and in different conditions when it comes to COVID-19 um, Obviously, where I am, things are starting to ramp up generally across the country, and it's just one of those things where you kind of have to be careful. And I, so I hope everyone is doing uh, is doing their due diligence to uh, try and slow this virus down. So then, hopefully, we can get back to our everyday lives without having to uh, be so so cautious. But. Um, it's beatable, but obviously it's going to be hard. It's not just what you can do. It can't be just one group. Everyone has to do it. So. But you've probably heard enough about that, and I really don't want to drag your day down because you're probably watching this video to uh, have some fun and enjoy your day and be some have some entertaining. So we don't want to talk about those sad things in the world. Let's be positive. Um, on the bright side, um, 
I've got some plans for future content coming very, very soon and a few different cool things. Uh, thank you guys so much for the continued support, by the way, but when it comes to all the different games uh, that uh, that I do or in cooperation with Willow and all that stuff, um, it does mean a lot, and I'm not sure what these guys are doing here, but they're just putting along. Um, it does mean a lot to me. Um, for those who may not have watched my last um, ATS showcases, I do believe is when I said it. Um, my goal is to get to 500 subs by the end of 2020. That was just something I thought that was going to be crazy at the beginning of the year, but I had to set a goal somewhere. Um, or create That was actually my crazy goal at the beginning when I started. 500 by the end of the year, that was like an outrageous goal. Um, to be honest, 100 was my goal, but my realistic goal in a sense, but now 500 is looking even more um, even more plausible when it comes to the growth of the channel so if you are watching this and you're not subscribed I know I don't ever really say plug you know, I have the notification go up but I really don't like to say it an awful lot but it does help the channel a lot it's unfortunate that we're so uh, that you, it, YouTube that out I'm, I'm, I don't even know how to say it like I kind of explained it in the last video but it's unfortunate that it's a number and it's a stat that counts so heavily on your content. It's unfortunate that it's not just uh, view, uh, watch time and views and stuff like that. Now I understand that stuff can all be rigged easier than uh, subscribers, but still, it's just one of those things that it's really annoying. And of course, we've just discovered, I'm a little late to that notification, but we discovered Colorado Springs and that is good. Um, but it's just one of those things that are just kind of annoying, but of course, I know it's uh, it's kind of hard, but um, not everyone can subscribe. But uh, well, it's not hard to do, but I know not everyone can subscribe. But if you are um, kind enough to do so, it it is much appreciated. Or if you're able to, um, I do know about uh, seventy percent of you guys are not subscribed um, from what the analytics tell me uh, so if you would consider doing that it would be much appreciated but obviously I can't do I can't force you so it's up to you Chevron that's a nice trailer that's a nice trailer indeed I've got to do more tankers I really do maybe that'll be the next one I do um, I need to try and find a tanker though that for the on the external market that's the problem that's my problem, because I'm trying to do the event. Now, it's been working a little bit off screen on it, but obviously, I don't I don't really need to be indicating right, but um, I've been working a little bit off screen on it, but I do still need to do some more in-game. And I know you guys like to see it, and it's kind of part of the ex exploration of the state anyways. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, certainly working away on that. Um, but I gotta do more tankers, because I, I really do a lot of other stuff other than that, so I'm gonna try and I'm gonna give that a shot. Let's see here. It's we'll sneak oh nice green light. Don't mind if I do, I'll just make my way through here. I never did the horn on this guy, did I? Oh. It's actually a pretty good horn, I forgot. Oh yeah, not the regular horn. The regular horn is wimp, but that's ah, okay. We all know that the, the uh, standard tr truck horns are pretty nasty. I think is this my turn? No, it's not. Oh man, I just jammed on the brakes for no reason. Wait, can I go down? Is this a shortcut? Let's look on the map. Unfortunately. It goes the wrong way, but I think it may come out here. But I'm not going to risk it because we're getting close. Um, remind me in the comments. Put a comment if you're still watching. Remind me to uh, go down that road and record it. <laughs> I got to do that. Um, that would be cool. Maybe we'll see if, if it comes out, because on the map it looked like there was a little bit of a intersection over around the corner here. So maybe we'll, it comes out just down there and it's just a nice hidden road. Because I know SCS does that. They'll put in these hidden routes and stuff, which are really nice to see. But uh, 
sometimes when you're doing a delivery and you want to kind of keep it generally within a certain time frame so the video can possibly be uploaded better because your internet isn't great um yeah hey western star or that's not western star rip international lone star um yeah that was that's my bad sorry bud um oh i almost crashed that would have been bad um let's see if they come out here because if because if there is if it does if there's no uh blockade on that right side Better slow down for the. No, there is a blockade on that side. Both sides. Man, the brakes are really sensitive on this truck. Whatever, we're going. I'm not gonna wait. That guy went too, so. We're going. So I wonder where it goes then. I wonder if it went back to the interstate, because it kind of looked like it would go that way. And the only reason why I didn't take it is one, internet. Two, um, and being able to upload this video, and two is just it was going in the wrong direction for where we're going. And I wonder why it's not, I guess it's not shifting because it wants to go up the hill here. Can I snake my way in through here? Just cut that dude off, just total meanie, but it's okay, we've got some momentum, we're gonna keep it. Don't do that in real life, people. Don't cut, don't cut off truckers and I'd hope truckers don't cut off people. <laughs> that's that's not something. Like just in general, don't cut people off. It's not nice to do. Uh, but this is a game. This is this isn't. An, I try to keep it realistic this series, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's not. I don't stress myself if something happens. Um, man, it's really one the rev high. Test note: this Cummins turbo diesel in this one, or Cummins diesel at least. It's a 600 horsepower, so. She can move whenever she wants to. It's good because it's a pretty heavy load, so... Uh, yeah. Looks like we're coming up to our delivery point. Which is good. But yeah, it should be the mine, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it will be. Kind of goes off into some hilly bits. Let's hope at least we're good. We get the green. Yeah, it looks like it will be, because it looks like there's some mounds over here. Positive mounds. Let's see. I hope so. I like the scenery over here, though. I only wish I had a better computer to be able to run the game to its full capacity, but... I don't, but I'm not going to complain. Because... Oh, no open burning. Stop the wildfires. Um, to be honest... I can't complain because where I where I was coming from was the integrated graphics to where I am now by slapping in a GPU into it. My computer that isn't great in overall, but it's okay and it works for me for now. Um, it is pretty good. I can't complain at all. At least I can get 1080 60 most of the time. Depends on the game, obviously. Um, but this in Rackfest can generally be 1080 60, no problem. Astroneer iffy sometimes, especially when recording. Um, City Skylines is never 60 frames, to be honest. Um, even when there's nothing in there, it's just it, because it's such a processor-bound game, and actually same as Astroneer. The graphics card actually could handle 1080-60 probably on both of those games. Man, really break hard. Um, but it's the... Uh, oh yeah, so this is the different entrances. Cool. South and North entrance. So we're hitting the North entrance. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, gonna have to come out in the south. Maybe we'll start from this thing. Well, I don't know. We'll, f we'll find out. Well, watch. Stay tuned for next Saturday's uh, video because I'll probably do a little extra bonus thing at the beginning here. Kind of showing. Oh man, these brakes. I really gotta change the sensitivity on this again. I think I changed it for something. Um, I'll probably do a little bonus thing at the beginning of the episode showing kind of the, the extra stuff around here just because but look at that truck look at this well actually I'm gonna stay exterior look at this uh, look at this plant this is this is like the one that I was seeing all the pictures on in my prime news series I was reporting on but I'm gonna stay away from that barrier um, I never yeah Oh, look, the truck up on the hill. Dude, this is insane. This is insane. Where do I have to go? I have to go through still. Um, there is a viewpoint over here. 
I have done the viewpoint, but oh, what, what the hey? Let's just do it. Let you guys see it. If you're still watching the video, it's your treat. For those who hang around to the whole thing, I completely. Oh no, it did accept it. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Cripple Creek Victor Gold Mine. Yes, this is it. Don't mind my kind of horrible parking job. No one cares anyways. It's quite nice what they do. The detail, the behind the scenes stuff. Like the stuff that you can't always see, but it's just off in the distance, the detail. Now I know my computer doesn't always serve it justice. But, like look at that. What they do is insane. Full credit to them. Uh, Ace or uh, SES Software, they uh, they outdo themselves certainly. They certainly outdo themselves. Look at that infrastructure. Like I, I'm even interested to know what it is in real life, but I know they model it after. Um, what is there actually and they do screenshots and they visit the plants and stuff like that like like everything is just insane that's the best word way to describe it it's insane in a great way i've got to be able to go over that road right yeah probably that's probably where you go around for the south entrance cool man I'm totally geeking out at this. This is cool. This is why I love the game. It's, I mean, these DLCs bring so much. That was a long cutscene. Start the truck up again. Uh, do I have everything running still? Yep. It looks like we do. Yep, we are all good. So, if I keep going down here... This is where I need to go. Somewhere down yonder. Nice little break there. But yes, for those who uh, watched at the end of the episode, thank you very much. I know there are some of you who do uh, from the graphs and stuff. Uh, so thank you very much. It, it is much appreciated. Um, and that was a little treat for you. Hold on. I, I, I try to do that every once in a while. Add a little bit of a treat. For those who like to stay around, because I know there are those who do, so give you a little bonus for sticking around. Oh, well, this is cool. Can we get to drive underneath this thing? You can. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna go left, though. Teaser! <laughs> um, ah, okay, we're coming around down here. We're going down to the deep part. Ah! We're going in deep. Cool. I like it. I'm just in shock and off if, if you wonder why I'm not talking. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just kind of shocked, actually, on how, uh, how much it looks. I just completely went, actually, I kind of need to go wide, because I barely even made that corner still. Uh, I need to go this way. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle down here. Or ma oh, jigsaw puzzle. Maze, that's the word I'm looking for. It's a wrong puzzle, but you, you get the point. You have to <laughs> I'm using the GPS more than looking around because I have to try and figure out where I'm going. Um, hate to be a nightmare. Oh! That was a rock. No, forgot that happened. Did stall the truck, so we were okay. I think we just, met, that was just a hard scrape. I don't think we damaged it. No, we didn't. It was just an aggressive scrape. That's what we'll class it as, okay? It was just an aggressive sc scrape. Um, I should have gone on the left one. Can I come across here? I can. The double wide scale suite. We're going to come in here. And wait for it to go... Oh, she hard on the brakes. I, I don't. I'm not hitting the brakes very hard. Oh, sweet. There we go. Uh, I think it did. Yep. Uh, we're gonna turn off the truck. Turn off the exterior lights. Turn off the beacons. Go around. Spin around and thank you guys uh, for watching this video. It is very nice to be in this mine here. Actually, I really wanted to visit here and. Happy I was able to. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. And. Uh, 
I will see you in the next one.